Before you get your P-plates, it's a good idea to practice driving in the country with your qualified supervising driver. Driving in the country is different from driving in the city and suburbs. It needs an entirely different approach. Country driving may appear easier. There are fewer traffic lights, turns and cars on the road, but this can cause people to become less aware and alert. Don't fall into this trap. For this reason, country driving is much more dangerous. You're driving in higher speeds and you need to concentrate a lot more. What differences do you find driving in the country from driving in the suburbs? When you drive in the country, you're driving at higher speeds and also overtaking. Driving in the country can be more dangerous because the roads are unsealed and there can be more hazards. When driving in the country, you have to look out for animals because they may jump out in front of you. You need to deal with driving at higher speeds, cars overtaking you, the possibility of animals venturing onto the road, various weather conditions, dazzling headlights, the remains of tyre blowouts and potentially unfamiliar or dirt roads. How do you feel about driving at higher speeds on country roads? To become more comfortable at driving at higher speeds, I practice when mum's in the car. I feel a bit uncomfortable about driving at high speeds because it's easier to lose control of the car. Because I've only just started driving, I'm kind of nervous at driving at high speeds, but I reckon with practice I'll be right. Where the speed limits permit, start by travelling at 80 kilometres per hour and then after some time, start to increase your speed to 85, to 90, to 95, to 100 kilometers per hour, the maximum speed that a learner can travel at. If possible, do this in multi-lane highways. Be aware of the speed limit as you drive through townships. Generally, you'll need to lower your speed to 80, then 60 or 50 kilometers per hour. You can get used to traveling at high speeds, so watch your speedo as you enter these towns. So here are some tips for driving in the country. The last thing you need to do is to get stressed allow plenty of time to get to your destination and allow extra time for possible delays. Be seen. It's a good idea when you're driving in the country during the day to drive with your headlights on low beam. It makes you more visible to other vehicles. Occasionally check your side mirrors to make sure you're in the correct position on the road, fractionally left of the centre of your side of the road. This will increase the passing distance, called the buffer zone, between your vehicle and oncoming cars. When you're on a long trip, Generally, you should take a break every two hours. Fatigue is a common cause of serious crashes. Use designated rest stops. Most of the busy single lane roads in South Australia have overtaking lanes at regular intervals. These are the safest places to overtake. So sit well back from the slower vehicle, relax and wait for these overtaking lanes to appear. On long journeys, people can tend to switch off. This can be a fatal mistake. If you're distracted, or you lose concentration and your car wanders off the road, your natural reaction is to jerk the steering wheel in the opposite direction. If your wheels do leave the bitumen, ease off the accelerator and don't brake harshly. Hold the steering wheel firm with both hands and ease the wheels back onto the road. There's no time like the present to take on all this advice and become more confident driving in the country.